uh, split phase motor. Inside of it, it has two sets of windings. The two sets of windings will be the start winding and the uh, run winding. But it also has a centrifugal switch on the inside of it, on this portion of it. This motor uh, will start up with the uh, start winding engaged and once it reaches about 80% of its uh, RPMs, revolutions per minute, it will disengage that start winding because it's no longer needed. Uh, if it stayed in the circuit, it would end up uh, burning up the, the start winding because it pulls very high current. The parts of this motor, the outside of it, this is where the stator is at, uh, where the coil on the inside of it is located. The, uh, these are the end bells from here to, and also this side here. This type of motor will be called a resilient mounted motor. It has these resilient rings around it. It's made out of rubber with a metal ring around it. And this motor basically will um, be supported by the cradle. The, cr the cradle is supporting it. And uh, the resilient rings actually makes the motor very quiet because it absorbs the vibration and the noise from the motor before it sits into the cradle. So basically this rubber ring or the resilient ring is uh, supporting the motor but also insulating it from vibration and noise. Other parts of the motor, the shaft, the shaft goes all the way through and it will have bearings on the inside of the motor. The, the bearings will basically support the shaft and those bearings are basically mounted in the um, uh, in the end bells would hold it together. Now smaller motors like this here, fractional horsepower, less than one horse, uh, use bearings also. The bearings would um, to come in different type of configurations and this type of motor would have a sleeve bearing. Uh, bigger, stronger, heavy duty type motors will use uh, ball bearings and which can take a lot more stress. So this is a split phase motor. Doesn't use any type of capacitors or starting components. Another type of motor we're going to look at if um, would be a split phase type motor. And this motor basically will use a run capacitor. This run capacitor designed to uh, give uh, a split phase motor a little bit more uh, running torque. We call that a permanent split co capacitor motor or a PSC. So this capacitor is used to feed into it. It'll be mounted on the motor uh, in a different type of way. I'll show you on a, another motor. A, a different type of motor we can look at we could call a, um, this one has both a run capacitor and a start capacitor. This is considered a permanent split phase motor but also a start um, inductive run type motor also. So this is a capacitor start, capacitor run motor. This will use, like I say, both capacitors, one to help start it and one to help uh, keep it going. Of course, this is a resilient mount motor to the shaft and got the cradle where supporting it. Other components we're going to talk about is this is a start capacitor. This is the run capacitor. These are larger ones, but uh, they can be used on motors and compressors to give it extra torque. This is used for extra starting torque, and this is used for extra running torque. 